What's up everybody and welcome to the fourth C programming tutorial and I do hope that you have enjoyed the first read and yeah this one is gonna be quite a short one uh, because uh, the concepts we learned uh, might be a bit overwhelming for some so to not move a bit faster we're gonna slow down the pace because we're gonna get to the discussion of some heavy concepts very soon to the three tutorials from now uh, where we'll fully uh, discuss the whole thing so so far we haven't actually discussed as to the concepts uh, for setting up your coding environment before you even start coding we have to break it all down and understand the header files and uh, the methods associated with the header files where we won't access or we won't um, explain everything but I'll give you an idea and then based on how far you want to go uh, you will go and read up on that to improve uh, your understanding of all the methods that are associated with a specific header file um, so in this tutorial we just gonna focus on strings and discuss string methods the reason being that this met the reason being that these methods are the methods that you can use maybe to manipulate your string maybe to test for a certain uh condition for instance you can uh process multiple strings just to determine uh, the one with a specific length range um you can um, check if uh, the string you got is the same as the string also you can compare the two strings um, there's a lot of methods that you can actually do you can convert a string to uppercase or lowercase well let's uh, discuss the ones we're going to talk about in this tutorial so uh, string methods right so we will talk about the one that the method that takes two strings and add them together into one string that is string concatenation and the method is called str for string cat which i believe is concatenation so um uh, one might think that they just went there and just took those words as they are right and then for string they just took the first three characters i think that's how they came up with the name um and then you will see that it takes two parameters right this is the two strings that you want to concatenate um we'll uh discuss about getting the length of a string so you will see that str is a string right that str length is the first three characters i think that's how they got to the name of this function and then you provide the string you want to get the length of um and then uh we're going to conclude with the comparison of two strings so we're going to compare the first string with the second string and then you will see that they took the first um it's comp cmp so they took the first character Past the second and took the i don't know how they came up with this but this is just a way to um they didn't want it to be a long name so they wanted it to be simple and um short so those are the two those are the three methods that we're going to be discussing in this tutorial uh let's head over to our coding environment and explore these concepts so um starting off uh let's zoom in a bit zoom in there we go and then mk dir and then we have uh strings right strings cd strings cool so we're gonna create a file called string it's a c file right and then um, we're gonna set up the environment so it's include um, stdio.h as I mentioned we'll get to discuss how or why are we just including because every time just including and including 
so this is how we set up our environment um, so the first topic or the first uh, concept we're going to learn is um, as um, concatenating two strings or uh, con ah, concatenate let's hope i spell this right two strings yeah, yeah, yeah so it's right it should be right yeah concatenate two strings using str cat for concatenation right that's the function and then we gonna get the length of a string um the other thing that you can actually do to challenge yourself which you're gonna play around with is that um so you see you concatenating a string right you can concatenate a string then get the length of that concatenated string right uh we'll see we'll see how we can explore that um so last but not least compare compare strings two strings cool so first thing that we need or the first thing we need to have is to have access to all these methods right so we need to include a certain header file that allows us to access these methods so we gonna up there and then we're gonna include a certain header file what do we call the header file for strings i know this is just a very awkward question uh, given that we haven't actually learned about header files but that should be string to h so this header files does make sense in terms of what they're dealing with because this allows us to access standard input and output right there's um output function there's input function that we get to access i believe that that is due to these header file and we will get to discuss more on this as we go further cool all right so let's begin so with the previous talk if you watched the previous video we discussed strings how to declare or create a string variable so a string it's a sequence of characters is a char and then let's say this is str1 and then we have i am okay let's just end it there i am and then char str2 and then i have the winner cool this is just a random text by the way so uh, yeah um i am the winner right and then we're gonna print f print f this you know um from its specifiers you know so you see the whole uh thing building up right we have all those concepts and then we are building up so that we can be able to do something with our programming language it's not enough to just know a language and not be able to apply this language on a real life uh, problem because at the end of the day you want to be able to solve real life problems right so what we're going to do here is str and then it's cat right and then you saw from the slides that we have to provide two parameters str1 str2 cool so if we run this command no not run the command run the program uh so i'm going to use the g plus plus compiler for this one um and then oh oh there we go string i want to name it uh ah, string is fine it's fine cool okay we compiled and then we run the program oh yeah because i didn't actually name it but there goes our string that is concatenated 
Sometimes you want to create a string based on certain conditions. So um, in this case, um, say for, for example, right, you want to create, um, you want to create a string um, that is uh, from a bigger, so you have, so you have uh, multiple strings and you just want to take specific characters from that string and create a certain name which is based on the characters you're taking from a bigger name so the string concatenation function that's where it comes into play right so you're going to start with an empty string and then you just concatenate no not basically that you're going to start with an empty string so basically with these uh, you don't really have to start with an empty string but you can in a way that um you first have an empty string and then you just keep on adding the characters accordingly in in the way that you want to add so you have your way of creating a specific string that you want based on certain conditions so this will make use of all those conditional statements we learned uh sometimes it might need a while loop because you want this uh loop to end when this string is successfully made and then you have a definition of it maybe you define it based on the length that okay cool if the length of my string is uh, this much then you can go ahead and terminate my loop so there's a lot of things you can do with this so learning that concatenation is that and that right is not enough okay you learn how to concatenate but where would you use this function in real life or when you um try to apply a real life problem right so that's where or that's what gets into um that's what plays a role as well cool so now um let's uh do this uh let's get the length let's get the length of a string right um so i have a string okay i have a concatenated string Actually, let's just use that one, right? Um, cha, and then it's str3. So str3 is the combination of str1 plus str2, right? Cool. So I'm just going to use that function str, cat, and then it's str1, str2, right? And then I print print f and then I am gonna get the length of uh, the um yeah let's just say the length I don't wanna type way too much it's just length then let's not forget our format specifier so since this is a length this is going to be an integer but this is going to be li because uh we are counting right so don't so this is a specific type that we're going to get uh based on this function so the str length returns a long sign and signed uh in if i remember correctly uh but it's a long type like it's the integer that is long so what we do is uh we're gonna call the function str and then it's length and then we have str3 right cool so now if i run this um let's clear this first uh remove a cool g plus plus string minus o uh, string let's give it a name because we don't want that um other one and then this is cat uh it fails size of first tier three um yeah yeah we're getting an error so uh that gives us that but it seems it doesn't want to do that okay cool let's just keep it simple and uh we'll advance it as time goes on um cool 
there we go and then we go there and we execute uh there we go it gives us the length but then we have a little bit of a problem there so we could just send an end line there or an end line and line there we go and then we have the let's clear and oh no, no we're executing the previous one and there we go we have i'm a winner and we have that right so now why was it complaining right that's one thing that we need to know so i know we haven't really covered the strings to an extent to where we also specify like inside as to how many characters you we want right we haven't fully specified that so what i want you to do is i want you to call that function as it is the way we did it uh before right and then specify the length of your string specify the length of your string and see if it's gonna work or not right um so let's uh head over to comparing two strings uh i think i think we should have the problem solving a little bit sooner because uh thinking about it if we get to be exposed to more programs or to more problems it makes it easy for one to grasp the concepts to see how they all work and to apply them in real life problems i think we should try to do that um so yeah let's start comparing two strings um cool so see i have um char and then this is one um and then it's one right i have char which is two and then i have two right and then if i use an if statement that if my uh one so it's comparing right so it's s t r c m p right if you remember and then we provide the first parameter which is one and then we provide the second parameter which is two right then uh what we're gonna do is print f it's one right uh so one is one <laughs> okay cool this is just me being super lazy and then we can just have another if condition just to see something right because we're not actually having the same parameters or we're not actually uh comparing um these two because i'm also going to change my condition there because at first i wanted to compare these two so one is two actually this yeah this is this is perfect uh, i know i kind of like that when it comes to um proper wedding uh cool there we go so we are comparing the two strings that we have actually let me just start it from there than uh, doing too much because we don't want to be confusing anyone right cool so we have a string right we have the first string we we'll call it one we have the second string we call it two so we want to compare the two to see if they are equal so i'm going to compare it there right one is two but then this is not relating to this because if it's relating to the values of those strings they will never be equal this is referring to their variable names right so if we execute our code um let's do this as well uh string it says one is two but how why right that gets to be the question as to why so um 
if we say i right and then we say compare and then we set equals to zero right let's see what happens i'm a winner it doesn't print that and then if i say this is not equals to zero and then one is two the two strings are not equal right but this function when it compares the two right if the two strings are not equal it returns an integer value of or it returns a boolean uh, it returns an integer value of one right but if um, the two strings are equal it returns zero that's the, how this function is working so in order for you to say that you are fully or successfully com uh, uh, comparing two strings if the two strings are the same it returns a zero if the two strings are not the same it returns one so one might be asking what if what if i see one here what will happen let's try it out you see it gives you that okay let's just make it more nicer by adding an end line uh just before we start the new and yeah, let's also end line there to make our output much nicer cool so now if we clear and we do this this is what we have so it runs so understanding the value that gets to be returned by a function is very much important now we haven't done the functions yet and we're gonna do that in the very next tutorial we're gonna talk about methods of functions though in c or c plus plus we get to just call them methods but function and methods are one and the same thing though there's a bit of an argument where people say that nope a function is not exactly the same as a method there's another that but looking at it when you define a function you define a function to do one specific thing right that's a method it's a method where uh a certain action is being executed just like with a function it's a function that describes how a certain action is being executed right so it's one and the same thing cool so that's how you compare the strings i thought i was going to do the one where i'm just uh saying one and then i explicitly call out one right because you can have conditions so uh you will see when we also do i don't know if we have done the switch statements i don't think we have done that uh unless if we have done i'll, I'll just reconfirm because yeah i've been quite busy but um if we haven't and then we're just gonna stick with just as if i'll see if or you can just actually try it now that um okay cool i have numbers from one to ten right you have them in a string format right so what you want is that you want to check for a condition where there's a, a one right you get a one from the input or you get one as a text right if it's one and then you return one as an integer but we'll get to that when we also talk about dictionaries in c so that will make sense because i'm just going to assign the integer value one to the key value one which is of a string format um i hope that makes sense and yeah without any further ado i think we will stop here uh go practice this uh few methods we learned along with the other methods there are lots of methods out there there's one that you can reverse a string and um the other thing that we're gonna learn as we move further is that yes we start with the methods that are already created by someone else but we need to get to a point where we define our own uh, methods to uh, 
execute a certain condition right so it's not just enough to just use what some of us have already done it's better to first go to their work then uh explore as to why or how they write that they wrote a specific function or a method and the properties of that uh method or that class if they create a class right but um we'll talk about that later on and yeah unfortunately for c we don't have any object orientation but that is the reason why we have c plus plus because c plus plus does have object oriented it's just that uh understanding c it makes it easy for you to live your life as a developer uh not really that is necessary but then if you're that much patient uh, passionate about it, coding uh where you want to fully understand a lot of things right like for python python is written in c right so you can gain get to understand how did c came to be right you can get to understand how c came to be and how it was used to create other languages right so it's it's always nice to go and have a bit of that uh discussion either with others or by, by yourself uh just so that you can have a full understanding or a greater picture about a lot of things right um yep i think that's it for this tutorial and we shall see each other next week tuesday